What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video I'm going to be showing you guys some footage from Crimson Doubles. I did play a ton of it, unfortunately my capture device failed on the uh, my big sitting of playing. Uh, I was streaming though, so if you wanted to re-watch the stream you could. It was actually a great stream, thanks for stopping by to those of you who did. We had nearly a thousand viewers at one point, this was right when uh, Crimson Doubles launched. Got to play with a friend of mine named uh, Ill Mentals. So we had a good time, unfortunately couldn't capture any of that gameplay. So the gameplay you're seeing now came from the evening session of uh, playing Crimson Doubles. Now in terms of drops, I, I enjoyed getting drops, I got like uh, both the shaders, I didn't get any of the ghost shells, and I played a lot. I saw ghost shells drop, I was really happy with that shot by the way. Uh, a lot of ghost shells dropped, but none for me. But the bounties are really easy to complete, they don't necessarily take uh, a lot of skill, I mean obviously if you're skilled you're going to get them done quicker. but even if you're just a really casual player, you can still get these done. Now, uh, in terms of matchmaking, Crimson Doubles is still on skill-based matchmaking, so you could, depending on your uh, skill level, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, you know, I really wanted to just have fun. I, I wanted this to be a playlist that was pretty relaxed, chilled, and laid back. You see here, um, this is kind of the story of the night. <laughs> it's just lots of hard scoping. And, uh, you know, I did have, f I'm not going to say I didn't have fun. I, I did have fun playing the Crimson Doubles playlist. It really just depended on who we went up against. It was fun when we went against people who weren't taking it super seriously. You know, people using fun loadouts where I could actually, like, pull out a Telesto and just kind of goof off. That was really fun. But then sometimes you go up against these guys who are really, really trying hard. And so they're hard scoping, lots of thorns. Um, we did also see, uh, I, I saw a ton of Sunsingers. I will say Warlocks are, are in my opinion, easily the strongest uh, subclass, well, strongest class, uh, Sunsingers subclass. Strongest in uh, this type of playlist, in Elimination in general, but uh, definitely in Crimson Doubles. I mean, those, those tanky Warlocks Sunsingers are so, so good. Here I'm doing some some evasion after choking on some snipes, using my really pretty uh, pink and ivory shader because I'm so beautiful. But uh, this guy uh, bait him in. He goes for the smash, and uh, I backed up way out of the uh, AOE. So you get this buff when you're the last man standing. You see the aura around me. You saw how fast I reloaded my weapon. When you're the last man standing, you get this buff, and you see the uh, the aura around this guy too. And it, it it's an interesting dynamic. I actually really like that dynamic. It makes you really, um, you know, consider how you're going to take on the last guy. You can't just 1v1 him and tank him um, all willy-nilly. If you're going to do that, you got to be smart about it. So I liked that. I thought that the concept of this playlist was was pretty fun and kind of creative. And I enjoyed playing it, but it really just, like I said, it depended on who we were up against. A lot of people... And this isn't intended to sound vain, but a lot of people will see my name, and uh, as I'm inspecting them, I can see them switching to the most try-hard stuff in the game after they realize, oh, we're going against True Vanguard, I can put my best stuff on so I can beat them, put the video up on YouTube. I honestly don't care. Um, if I, I get beat all the time, so it doesn't bother me, but I, I hate when people actually switch weapons just to feel like they have to compete. I'd love to just derp, you know, just derp around, have some fun. So I, I pulled out some old snipers that uh, you see me using in some of this gameplay, my um, her benevolence. It's just kind of fun being able to comb back through my vault and be like, oh, what do I have in here? So what's my final verdict on this playlist? I think it's fun and creative. Uh, the only problem is a lot of teams playing super passive and slow, just kind of sitting in hard scoping lanes, and that's kind of boring. Um, I, I don't dislike the playlist, but sometimes it can just play so slowly. And it forces me to get reckless. I'm just like, oh, I want this to be over. I want, I want a different team to play against. So I just kind of rush. I lost a, I lost a few matches just because I, I got bored and I started to push really aggressively, and made poor decisions. So I, I suppose that's on me. But I was just like, ah, I'm ready to get in a different lobby. I'm ready to get a, a, a different team here. So hopefully your uh, experiences are with it are good. I'm seeing a lot of negative feedback on Twitter. Um, you know, I'm, I'm, ooh, by the way, ooh, ooh, that felt good, the, the the hip fire melee with the black spindle. This gameplay now that you're seeing is uh, just a 20 kill streak I had uh, that was kind of fun. Had some fun quick scopes and stuff in it, so 
Um, that's what you see now. This is not Crimson Doubles here. Uh, in terms of the map rotation, this is another thing about Crimson Doubles that I thought um, they could tweak, is the map rotation. Um, I think one of the reasons some of that negative feedback is so negative is because uh, uh, they put maps like Pantheon in the rotation. Uh, get get that out of here. <laughs> we don't we don't need no stinking Pantheon in the rotation for for four people. That map is way too big and plays way too campy. So the map itself is kind of promoting that gameplay. And uh, you you probably saw that in some of the Pantheon footage that I, I already showed you. But we had so many matches that were so slow on Pantheon. It's like yeah, just get this out of here. We don't need Pantheon in this rotation. So I I think they could take Pantheon out, uh, some of these bigger maps in general that don't uh, really play well with doubles. They're just too big, too campy. Some of the maps were great, honestly, like uh, Anomaly I loved. Asylum, it depended on the team. Uh, I had some really fun, fast-paced matches on Asylum. I had a couple really slow-paced ones where it's just top control, hard scoping. But um, some of these maps played, played great with doubles, and they really need to focus on those smaller maps with... Uh, fewer of those long hard scopey lanes uh exodus blue was probably my favorite in the rotation exodus blue played out really really well like that a lot one of the things they could actually consider doing is instead of maybe taking the time to create new maps new small maps for playlists like this one of the things they can do is is maybe just block off parts of these bigger maps now pause for a second look at my character's right foot in this gameplay and tell me if you see something weird <laughs> Ooh, it's kind of that's interesting now, anyways, resume. Uh, block off just a portion of the map, these bigger maps, uh, and make make a smaller map from an existing big map. Just block off some of the edges, make them, uh, you know, kill zones with the timer, you know, oh, return to the battlefield. That would be great. So, anyways, that's just some of my feedback. I think that um, I think that the playlist itself is kind of fun. It could be it could be a little bit better. There's some things I could tweak about it, but you know, all in all, it's it's a fun change of pace. I probably won't play a ton of it, but I'll play some more of it. Uh, feel free to leave some feedback in the comment section. I want to know what you guys think, what your experience has been like, uh, if it's been way different than mine. I've seen some varying reports, so your experiences may have been dramatically different, and that's okay. So that's how we that's how we get good feedback, as we see kind of how different people are experiencing things. By the way, don't forget that Friday is uh, Global Fusion Trials Day, so everyone is highly encouraged to use a fusion rifle in Trials of Osiris this weekend, regardless of what the map is. So let me know if you're going to be participating in that, and if you are, uh, what fusion rifle you are using. I think I'm going to try out, I finally got my hands on a Telesto, so I think I'm going to, I'm going to roll with that thing. Have some fun with that baby. Uh, that and Plan C. So. Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking, what you're going to use, if you're going to use it all. Uh, some people may be like, oh, screw that. I'm going flawless. I'm using my best stuff. But um, best of luck to you either way, whatever you choose to do. And uh, guys, as always, it's been a pleasure. And I will catch you lovely human beings in the crucible. You are the cat's pajamas. And I do love you.